Um, but I will start with the end of my research, which was here in Israel, when a number of Igbo people had arrived in Israel in the 1990s. And one of them, Jim Agnello, went up to the high court to claim Jewish identity, not only for himself, but for all of the Igbo people. So he, he wanted to have the law of return also applied to the Igbo people. Now, um, there was a high court decision in 1994, of course, rejecting the uh, Igbo Jewish identity. Um, and what was most interesting for me, of all the stakeholders that gave their opinion about the Igbo, I think Israeli academia was the most influential ones and not the rabbis. We always think that it is the rabbis that define Jewish identity, but I can clearly say that uh, Africanist or ac Israeli academia was actually the most um, important factor in this. So after this avenue to Jewish identity in Israel was blocked for the Igbo, uh, still more and more uh, Igbo people were arriving in Israel. And so th the people who wanted to get recognition as Jews, the Igbo who wanted to, get to, to be recognized as Jews in Israel, had to convert uh, to Judaism. And so they did. They built an Igbo Jewish community in southern Tel Aviv, and they converted uh, to Orthodox Judaism, actually to ultra-Orthodox Judaism, but nevertheless, uh, their conversions were not recognized, and most of them were deported in 2007. So halakhically speaking, they were actually Jewish, um, but not by the, by the state. Uh, during the 15th century and also the 16th century, there was quite a strong image about uh, the Jews being red or reddish. And it was actually a geographical, uh, um, people were quite sure that at the end of the earth, you can see it uh, on, on the top of the picture, uh, that there is a territory of the red Jews. Yes, you can find it on uh, several maps around this time. And these red Jews were somehow uh, threatening the Christian, uh, Christian Europe and uh, the, the concept, uh, of course, changed. It didn't stay the same. And you have, for instance, then in the 16th century, talk about the alliance of the red and the black Jews. And this is kind of an apocalyptic uh, vision that would uh, destroy uh, Christian Europe. So again, we have here Jews um, described at the same time as being black and red. And I think we have this, uh, heard this earlier, in, I think it was in, 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 uh, in the first talk we have heard today. So I will skip to the next, next map. Okay. This, this is a map, it's one of the earliest descriptions of Africa from the 16th century. Uh, it's, a, it's a map drawn by Livio Sanuto and here you have in the middle, which is yellow, the Judeorum Terra. So from very early, early times, you have this idea of having uh, Jews in Africa, black Jews in Africa, um, together with these red Jews in other places, be it in the Americas or be it uh, them in Asia. So this uh, existed at, this, at the very same time. So again, if you, if, you t if you go back to this three-part division of the world of white Europe, uh, black Africa, and the in-between Asia, African Jews, is, they're somehow a disruptive element in this notion. They're like a counter-discourse. Uh, counter At the same time, if we go then up to the Enlightenment, um, Jews were also somehow at the one side, so you have Jews being considered as blacks or being as reds, but at the same time, there's some, this idea uh, evolving about Jews being an invisible race. So wherever you would go, Jews will have different skin colors. So if you go to Africa, they will be black like their neighbors. If you go to Europe, they will be white like their neighbors, but still they have the same race. It means they still just marry themselves. They wouldn't marry outsiders, 
but they still share the same race. And this is, uh, I talked uh, about earlier about um, Ishai's conception about the Beta Israel being the seed of Israel. This is kind of a similar idea of an invisible Jewish race. I will go to the next slide. Um, you, have, you might have seen this before. Um, this was from an exhibition in Nazi Germany in uh, 1938. It was about degenerate music, like you had exhibitions about degenerate art. And here you see uh, an interesting combination of blackness and Jewishness as being the threat to a uh, white Aryan uh, Germany. So this is a very negative uh, uh, disc, um, depiction, of course, of, the, of this combination of blacks, blackness and Jewishness, but you can also find at the very same time positive descriptions about uh, this combination of black Jewish identity. And there is a little advertisement for my forthcoming book. <laughs> should be out in about a month or two months' time. Thank you. Hi, my name is Danny Edmasso. I'm a student in bar University. My question is, so uh, from what you learn, who's a Jew? This was one of your, one of your titles. Yeah. Is this personal? definition or it's like what you learn from it? I mean, I would like to hear your opinion. Whose yeah. definition was Jew? Well, your research. my research was about in Israel, especially looking at the Ibo case. I, I was looking also at their earlier identification as Jews in Nigeria and but coming to Israel, I was looking who is deciding on who is a Jew. And as I said, you know, uh, the general conception is that it is the rabbinate that at the end of the day decides. But the rabbinate uh, is really relying on what I found is relying on the opinions of anthropologists, Africanists. So the rabbinate is actually drawing back on, on research that is being done in the academia. And that was also the case with the Better Israel. It was the very same thing. I, I think academia, our scholarly research about Israel was crucial in bringing about a, a recognition among the rabbis. So academia is very important. Uh, there are several actors. I mean, it's not, uh, it's, uh, and sometimes it's, it's uh, you wonder, you know, why, why the Bnei Menashe from India got the recognition, while the Ibo not? Because in my, in my view, uh, it's, they, 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 both of them can make a case and you can argue against it the same way or not. So it's, it's a political issue at the end of the day. But, uh, I mean, the immigration of the Better Israel it has, has received a lot, really. There's tons of research about the Better Israel. And it's, it's uh, I mean, considering the number of Better Israel that are, that are actually in, in Israel, uh, it's really amazing, you know, how much research has been done. And the, the, the awareness also of people outside of Israel about that there is, that there are better Israel in Israel, is there. Um, so, you know, it's, it's somehow, um, you know, if, if there is one group of black Jews, well, then there are probably others as well, you know, it, it makes, it builds a bridge somehow. <laughs>